Hi, I'm Kate and I'm doing this chat as um, my book is out again and there's more gossip again. This has to be the lowest point I've ever been in my life to the point that I wanted to commit suicide, hang myself, drown myself. But the fact I had kids was the main feature why I stopped, stopped myself doing it because I couldn't be that selfish. I was so low that on holiday in Cape Verde when I caught them both, I was on the beach early hours of the morning googling men that cheat on married wives that they're pregnant. It was just, my head was just all over the place. Kieran, as I knew Kieran, the cheating Kieran, he's dead. There is now a new Kieran, Reborn, and that's not why I called the book Reborn. But he's a completely different person, looks wise, the way he acts, just everything, and I'm glad I stayed with him. Something horrific happened to him while he was growing up as a child, like from wetting the bed from 11 to 16. It was that horrific. That's another reason that made me understand why he had a sex addiction or how it contributed to why he had a sex addiction. In a way, it done me a favour catching them out early because if it had been five years on and I found it, I think that would have been more destroying for the family. So we dealt with it, we've moved on, it's been two and a half years, it's the best thing I ever did. I trust him more than ever and I believe he won't cheat again. We're moving forward in our life, we even want more children ourselves and we're both looking into adoption too. Jane's lost everything, she's ruined her life. She tried to ruin mine, but obviously didn't succeed. She's done me a favour in the end. I just hope she has a miserable ending to her life. Go die. When it comes to Harvey and Dwight, you've heard it from the horse's mouth. I have never stopped Dwight seeing Harvey. I want Dwight to see Harvey. I'd love Harvey to go there at weekends and see um, Dwight. I just don't understand why he does not want to see Harvey. It's been nine years. I've sent him videos, pictures. I never get a response back. So if he's a man, please come and see your son, your flesh and blood. We want nothing from you. Just recognise you have your flesh and blood because he's 14. He's such a good little boy or big boy. Um, I just don't understand it. You see your other son. Why, why do you see him? Because he's normal and hasn't got disabilities. That's all I can think it is. So be a man and own up to your responsibility. Everything I've been through in my life, even like domestic violence, I don't know how, but somehow I've come through it through strength. And if I can do it, and hopefully people can be inspired when they read my stories, that I can help them, there is, as they say, a happy ending.